Okay, what we're going to do here is what I call a scattered bait set. I came up with this one when I was about 12 or 13 years old and was trapping foxes. And it worked real good on foxes and it worked real good on coyotes. And what you want to do is pick a spot in the open and look at where you're going to set the trap. And when you get done with the set, you want it to look as much like this as you can after your trap is already set. And then we'll just put little drops of bait all the way around the trap. You don't want to put any on your trap or your chain because he'll be nosing around and he'll find it. But just scatter the bait all the way around. I call it a scatter bait set. And as he's walking around getting his little free meal, Hopefully he'll find your trap. It's worked for me a hundred times. And I um, hope I'm teaching you a new set. And let's go ahead and make it. I've got my trap attached to the tree. I've already got my chain pretty much hid. Kind of hard to hide it in 50 mile an hour wind. Now we're going to go ahead and make our bed for a trap. Break all this back. I'll use it as soon as my trap is set. You don't want fresh dirt around your set as much as possible. So I'd usually just grab it, throw it first as I can get it. Good bed for my trap. Go ahead and get it in there. Get it in as solid as you can. Got my wax paper. Jeez, wax paper man. keeps the dirt from going under the pan and keeping your trap from firing. We go to her peat moss, best thing ever made to trap with, don't absorb water, won't freeze. We just sift a little on. Take my little nose picker, <laughs> kind of even things out a little bit. This is a fast set to make, very effective set to make. You want it to look as much as possible like the ground has never been disturbed. He just thinks he's getting a free meal. See, it looks pretty much just like it did before I started. Now to put the bait in. And this is our mackerel base bait. It's mackerel. I put four cans of Jack mackerel. About a cup, cup and a half of cooking oil. That'll keep it from freezing if it gets real cold. And four eggs. Just 
there the wind is blowing about 40, 50 miles an hour right now, which makes it a little hard. As you can see, I got my bait all mushed up. There's no big chunks. We don't want them to get a whole lot at one time. Flick it around. No big chunk. Don't take a whole lot. And that's it. That's one of the best sets you can make for coyotes. Okay. Location of your trap is a key. You can't just set one anywhere you want to because they may not be nothing there. Right here, we got an old road coming down this way. And it keys into another road that's going this way. It's like an intersection. And the coyotes run these roads. Plus, the wind, this is west. The wind is usually coming from the west. So anything coming down the road over here should get a good whiff of my bait because the wind is generally blowing from the west. And uh, just find intersections of old roads. We got a little coyote pee here. I'll give them a little dose of that. It kind of takes a little other boogerness away from them. Don't take much. A couple of little squirts. But we've not had any sets made up here this year. And if there's any young coyotes that's not been around, they're pretty easy. We hope we get them. And the deer and the quail. We just jumped a covey of quail. And the rabbits will thank us for getting rid of them. This is Randy with Trackham KY. Like and subscribe. Give us your comments. We always want to know what people think about our videos. And uh, we try to do the best we can. And I've been trapping for over 40 years. And I've caught my share. And if I can help you out. I'll help you in any way I can.